Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, King of Kings. All glory and praises to God Most High. God, please help me to be perfect as I read the word today. God bless you all. Amen. Genesis 4, Cain and Abel. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again, she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep and Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of fruit of fruit of the ground and Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions and the Lord had regard for Abel and his offerings but for Cain and his offerings he had no regard so Cain was very angry and his face fell the Lord said to Cain why are you angry and why has your face fallen if you do well you will be will you not be accepted and if you do not do not do well sin is crouching at the door its desire is contrary to you but you must rule over it Cain spoke to Abel his brother, and when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. And the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Amen. And the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. And God, and now you are cursed from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer of the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me today away from the ground and from your face. I shall be hidden. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord said to him, Not so. I fear you, Lord God. God, please have mercy on my soul, me soul, on my soul, and guide me to my highest destiny in the kingdom of heaven. Glorify your name with my life, Lord God. Amen. God, I surrender and I submit to you. Then the Lord said to him, Not so, if anyone kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone who found him should attack him. Then Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. When he built a city, he called the name of, his, of the city after the name of his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Erad. And Erad fathered Mehujael, Mehujael, and Mehujael fathered Methushael, and Mehu Methushael fathered Lamech, and Lamech took two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Zila. Ada bore Jabal, and he was the father of those who dwell in the tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal, and he was the father of all those who play the lyre and pipe. Zila also bore Tubal clay. Cain, Tubal Cain. He was the forger of all instruments of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zila, hear my voice. You wives of Lamech, listen to what I say. I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain's revenge is sevenfold, then Lamech's is seventy-sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth. For he said, God has appointed me, for me another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. To Seth also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. At that time people began to call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. I call upon your holy name, Lord God Most High, to keep me in your highest favour, to guide me always, to help me to follow Jesus Christ and accept him as my Lord and Saviour and to seek his face always. Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and Saviour, and I humbly need you in every single moment of my life. Please, God, must I glorify your name with my life. Guide me through my trials and my storms, and deliver me from the enemy's attacks. Amen. Adam descended Adam, Adam's descendants to Noah. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. Male and female, he created them, and he blessed them and named them man when they were created. And Adam had lived 130 years. When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. The days of Adam after he fathered Seth were 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus, all days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he fathered Enosh. Seth lived after he fathered Enosh 807 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Seth were 912 years and he died. 
When Enosh had lived 90 years, he fathered Kenan. Enosh lived after he fathered Kenan 815 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Enosh were 905 years and he died. When Kenan lived 70 years, he fathered Mahalel. Mahalel. Mahalalal. 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 Kenan lived after he fathered Mahalalal 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Kenan were 910 years and he died. When Mahalalal lived 65 years, he fathered Jared. Mahalalal lived after he fathered Jared 830 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Mahalalal were 895 years and he died. When Jared had lived 162 years, he fathered Enoch. Jared lived after he fathered Enoch 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Jared were 962 years and he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he fathered Methuselah. Methuselah. Enoch walked with God, amen, after he fathered Methuselah 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Enoch, amen, were 365 years. Enoch walked with God and he was not, for God took him. When Methuselah lived 187 years, he fathered Lamech. Methuselah lived after he fathered Lamech 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Methuselah were 969 years and he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he fathered a son and called his name Noah, saying out of the ground that the Lord had cursed, this one shall bring us relief from our work and from our painful toil of our hands. Lamech lived after he fathered Noah 595 years and, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Lamech were 777 years, 777 years, and he died. After Noah was 500 years old, Noah fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Uh, Genesis 6. Increasing corruption on earth. When man begin, began to multiply on the face of the land, and the daughters were born, born to them, the sons of God saw the daughters of man were attractive. The beginning of lust, I presume. And they took as their wives any that were chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also afterward, when the sons of God came to the daughters of man, they bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. I don't even know what to say about that. That's hard to read. So the Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heavens, for I am sorry I have made them. But Noah found favour in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you with that word Jesus is Lord